Artificial intelligence has been a hot topic for a while now, but how you can easily use it in everyday life isn't often talked about enough. We've developed a program that does just that. Integrate artificial intelligence simply and effectively into your work or personal life. I'm Axel Gherkin from the Ashampoo team, and in this video, I'll show you how you can easily use our Ashampoo AI assistant to harness artificial intelligence for yourself. Enjoy watching. When you start AI Assistant, you get to choose from four basic functions. You can refine your text here and make corrections. With this feature, you can have a custom text created for you, whether it's a cancellation letter for your electricity provider or a charming birthday invitation is totally up to you. Here, you have the option to have a text summarized or its specific intention extracted, which I personally find very exciting. With the last function, you can interact directly with the artificial intelligence, ask questions on a variety of topics, and get help quickly and easily on specific issues. And the best part, you can have your texts translated into 20 languages and back. I want to show you how you can easily generate a text. First, we start the Generate Text function. First off, I always pick the template, so I want to know if I'm writing the text as an email or a letter. In my example, I want to write an email now. You'll still find it on the left side, a text field, where you can enter your text requirements. These are crucial for creating your text. For example, please write a proper cancellation. Notice for my electricity provider Nullwatt, with my customer number 0815. The cancellation should be completed by December 31st, 2024. In the center, you select the tone. Do you want the text to sound friendly, very serious, or professional? Let's go through this together now. I want to send my cancellation via email and keep a serious tone. Once I click Apply, the cancellation text is quickly created. With the copy function, I can easily transfer it to the clipboard and then paste it into my email program. Later, I'll show you how you can further optimize this step. For comparison, I'll now set the tone to funny. Even though not quite appropriate in this context, this exemplifies the difference a change in tone makes. If you want, you can simply delete the old text. Otherwise, the new text will just be added below. I think the differences between the texts are clearly noticeable. Next up, I want to show you how to craft a charming birthday invitation. First, I'll clear both text fields and set the key requirements for the invitation. So this time I'm using a letter as a template. And then I paste the text into the designated field. These are my key requirements. The invitation, could you please create a charming birthday invitation for me? I want to invite my dear Uncle Klaus on July 2nd to my 40th birthday at the Cozy Kog to feast and celebrate heartily together. Next, I'll set the tone to positive and click apply. And there you have it, the invitation text is ready. If you're not satisfied with the result, you can change the tone or keep it as is and click apply again to generate a new text. Once I'm happy with the text, I can easily copy it to the clipboard and paste it into my word processor. I think you've now got a little glimpse into how the program works. Next, as I briefly mentioned earlier, I want to show you how I use the AI Assistant even more efficiently. My goal was to use the text improvement and translation features from inside my email client, my word processor, or any other application, without constantly having to move back and forth between these applications and AI Assistant. This is possible with the help of macros, which are very easy to create here. Here's how. AI Assistant is now running in the background, even though the program window is closed. Next, I start the program that will ultimately contain the AI process text, this, this case, my email client. 
I then input my demo text that is intentionally flawed and not optimally phrased. The text is meant as a formal letter to a company. Now, I highlight the text and press CTRL plus C twice. This opens AI Assistant with my text already imported. I then set the tonality to friendly and the action to text improvement. Next, I click Apply to review the result. I'm satisfied, so I want to save my current settings and use this function without any manual interaction in the future. For that, I click Save as Macro. I then specify a name, adjust the settings if needed, and assign the keyboard shortcut I will use to execute the macro in the future. Executing macros always requires hitting two shortcuts. The first one, CTRL plus C, copies the selected text to the clipboard. The second one performs the specified operations, and I'll set it right here. You should make sure not to use an already existing shortcut to avoid conflicts with other applications. I'll be using Windows key plus O, With a click on OK, I then save my new macro. Let's try it out. I'm now switching to my email client where I have the text that needs improving. I then highlight it and press Ctrl plus C followed by Windows key plus O. Down on the right, you can see the AI assistant being summoned. And voila, my improved text has now been entered right here into the email client. Wow! Everyone knows the brain is often faster than your fingers during typing, and that's when little imperfections can sneak in, potentially giving the wrong message. With AI Assistant, I'm now able to neaten and correct my texts with just a few keystrokes. Another application is translating existing texts into one of the 20 available target languages. I want to set up a macro now so I can write text in English in my email client and have it translated to German straight away. First, I'll write a sample text, highlight it, and press Ctrl plus C twice, so AI Assistant comes up with my text. I then select Improve, Friendly, and specify German as output language. With a click on Apply, the text is translated. Once again, I then click on Save as Macro and specify the name for my new macro. Here's a tip. Choose meaningful names so you can easier tell your macros apart later. As before, using the macro requires hitting Ctrl plus C to copy the selected text, followed by my custom key combination. To set the key combination for the translation operation, I first click Win and then the adjacent text box. It will be highlighted with a blue border and accept my keyboard input, in this case, W. This means I can later use CTRL plus C, followed by Windows key plus W to execute the new macro. Hitting OK saves it. To try it out, I once again activate my email client, highlight my now English text and press Ctrl plus C, followed by Windows key plus W, And, wow again, my German text is now ready to be sent. That's it for our primer on AI Assistant. I hope our program will always gives you the right texts and the right responses to your questions. And if you like the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos. We've always got the best information on all kinds of programs. Thanks for watching and see you next time.